and hello there and this is King of Janet always trying it and um, yeah I'm here to talk and teach you about the FASTA event oh. And uh, tell you why it's worth it for definitely new players, and why you know you know it's just amazing. All right, so this event comes up three times a day in server time. One's at ten, and another. But let me just kill these guys first. Now, what's great about this event is when you kill these guys here. Oh wow, these guys are actually wrecking my health. Though I'd love to have shield. Um. What's great about this is when you kill them and they turn into boxes, um, you can loot them and get gold and stuff, which is great. One second, let me just heal myself. My health is. Uh, players shooting me, being a dick. That's probably why I was using so much health. If you do that, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> it's that simple. Now, so back to talking about it. So uh, these boxes will appear, and then what's great about these boxes is they got money, loot, and stuff in them. But what's amazing, really amazing, is that it doesn't. Uh, when someone's picking it up, it doesn't take it for the other player. That's what's really awesome about it. I wish the boss would leave me alone. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna try and get this now and hope that he leaves me alone. Seems to be shooting someone else at the moment, which is great. <laughs> and the thing about this boss is ridiculous as well. If you sh the further he is away from you, the basically the less damage he does. Also a great event for when players get together. Because when players get together, you can obviously take them out like this. Now for me, if you reach a reference, I'll probably leave him alone. But since I'm trying to gain some points since in Farsight, pretty much started last night in New Land. Um, serious story. Alright, so he should run now. Where you don't get a sniper in noob mode. And then we got someone up here, I believe. I believe. There we go. So you can do that, but that's you, you really don't want to do that because yeah, what, what will happen is you'll be fighting this boss alone using a lot of ammo and supplies to kill it. And he's actually really worth like. Just doing legitly normally. So, well, I'm trying to get my streak at the moment. That's my plan. <laughs> my plan is to get the streak so I can uh, summon an airdrop, which might be a bike or whatever, or a rocket launcher, which is like really, really handy. And you need just to hold on to it, which is another great thing. But I'll go through all of it properly in a minute. Just, yeah. See, that's why you don't kill the players. Another time, he's going to try shooting me now, isn't he? Okay, yeah, he is. I don't think he realised it was me. You started it, bruh. You started it, bruh. I did kill you before, so I kind of get it. So I don't even worry about it. Hope 101. Okay. 12 diamonds. Oh, thanks. I needed some diamonds. All right, so it's, it's so worth coming to. There's events that make you force your calm. Like, especially new players. Like, you know, any gold is good gold. Look at this, man. It's ridiculous. So many diamonds, but you can only recycle 100 diamonds a day anyways. All right, so now our plan is to basically beat up this boss the best we can, which is what we're going to do. All right, so I'm going to work together with the guys now so I don't have to keep using so much ammo. That's the design of the game, or if it's on purpose. But uh, yeah, seems to be what it's like. Yeah, he's got the aggro of him, but he's dead now. There we go. And then you just take what you need. Simple as. And then as soon as you're taking what you need, take out your opponents. And get your ranking. So there you go, I got eight kills in a row. So I'll get an airdrop now. Which is another thing I want to talk about. So this airdrop that drops, basically, oh, I thought she spawned back here. I was like, that's unlucky. Do this. So these are the things you can get. You can get the far the far star phantom bike for eight hours, the bazooka, which only runs out when you've used up all the shots, the shield and the gun come together, 
and um, you can get that as well. But like I said, I feel like this is like the worst loot you can get for an airdrop randomly. The bazooka is uh, either easily the best, but you know, in that order, the bike is apparently the best. But that's just for if you want to escape. It doesn't really give you attack power or anything. It's just fun to ride. And I don't believe people can ride on your bike when you got this one. But again, I'm going to be finding that out for you guys real soon. Um, and then you got obviously the blood diamond souvenirs for like, you know, rare rewards and stuff like that. And Nano 2, which is going to be really helpful for you there. Um, obviously, the Blood Brothers are mentioned again about that event that we just saw at the beginning of the video, which is these guys. Uh, someone really far in the distance there. Can I get that person with a smile the bow? That was supposed to be sniper type, but it don't matter. Sword and shield. Whoa. What are you doing, bro? If you attack me, I'll gladly kill you. Trust me, I'll gladly kill you. No issues. If you shoot me, I will kill you. I don't mind. Honestly. I do not mind. <laughs> so effectively, you could just guard you. I mean, because if people don't know or new owners don't know, you are the only one that can open this. No one can steal this off you. All right, I've tried in, in high level, right? And before you think I'm bullying in low level, uh, I've already been in level 70, had fun, come third in 70. And um, yeah, like I may even go back and do it just because the way they've designed it now, it makes it more paramount to kind of go there. But in this mode, it allows me to easily show stuff, talk about things and teach you guys stuff about fast. Like if you're interested in taking part and uh, you know, getting involved in some Nancy. I'm not even on this table. Oh, there I am. I'm fifth place at the moment. That's not bad. Um, so, yeah. So, let's just pick up this bazooka supply. Really? Really? Why are you doing that? I'm going to get that kill before someone takes that kill. Uh, so, yeah. You can get, like, uh, the pistol and shield, the bazooka, and you can get a fast-style bike, which is really, really damn cool, because otherwise you'd have to pay some money to get a bike in it. So it's the only place you can earn a bike and get it, and then you've got Eleven C. Um, you can get it at your Hope Valley base. Um, not Hope Valley. Um, your normal home thing. And uh, that will allow you to... Uh, basically ride around at your camp camp or base or whatever you want to call it but that's fine then you got the dish a vindicator which we're just about to do now okay so here i'm just showing you basically the dish thing so as you see you've got to stand in it when you don't it will basically just dissipate or it'll go down there you go it's gone so when you activate this and you're standing inside it you're basically calling the dinner bell to all players on the map. Letting you know that, you know, you're doing the dish or the radar thing or whatever you want to call it. And you're trying to call it airdrop in. So just be ready. I suggest getting two people for this. But if not, um, just be ready for it. So I'm just going to fast forward this because it does take a while. I believe it's about two minutes. Then it needs to fly over as you can see now. I will slow it back down now and it will normally drop in the school sometimes it drops just outside the gates in the road i've seen it happen but uh yeah it'll just drop down here so i'll come out of it now just to show you its location and as you can see it's just over there with a little fire flare thing As you can see, once I've opened it, I've dropped over 80 diamonds. If you are trying to share it, just remember, don't open it. Because if you open it, it disappears to the player you're trying to give it to. And only you can claim it. Also, make sure you have space. Because here, I get all the resources but the glasses. Because I don't have any space. And it's quite painful. Because, you know, you could always take spare glasses with you, you know. So, yeah. What we talk about? Floating wrap. So, floating wrap is the next one and that's also a place to get diamonds it's not as frequent
far it does give you um, a chunky amount of diamonds not as much as the dish the summoning dish is the best one by far sorry boss you're in the way i cut through my enemies um yeah so by far it gives you much oh wow that gives you diamonds oh wow i didn't know the mystic bosses give you diamonds there you go confirmed all right so the next one is like the drink machine or these vending machines these vending machines are everywhere so yeah that's pretty easy but i'll show you two birds one stone on that one i'll show you where those are all right so i wanted to show you about the vending machine so one of them is in this park location here you just go up to it then there'll be a second option which i've been waiting for for a long time for them to do it i've been wondering what they're going to put there so you go to special on the top right like that go to red diamonds and then you'll get a random amount of either five ten or twenty it could be either i'll today will get ten i don't deserve it i've got way too many diamonds right now and then you can keep trying to get every t uh, one minute and 30 seconds so just hang around it you can only do it five times now keep coming back and yes they draw loads of little bits amount but um, it's just the best way to get hold of what you're basically looking for. Self-explanatory. Before the balloons literally just gave you balloons and other resources. But now you can actually get... See, I'm going to kill that person now. Unless they shoot me. Um, and you get the diamonds. See, three diamonds. Very small, very little. But you can. Um, that's how you can grind diamonds in this zone. And you, once you get 100, that's all you need. You don't really need... Um, a lot of diamonds to be honest you really don't like having loads of diamonds just excessive at a certain point and that's basically what, but since i've done the the bandit event or whatever stuff like that's the best way to get 100 diamonds quickly and not be in here all day and then still do your daily which i'm going to talk about in a second so as you can see you can get your diamonds like this and then when you've waited a minute and a half you go back to this machine and then you just get some more and hope whoa we got 20 <laughs> we don't need any more diamonds we're on like 274 diamonds i know there's a daily thing where it says 300 or something like that I get blood diamonds but it doesn't mean in a day what it means is by this guy here which i spotted all over the map by the way so you got this guy here you got another one down this bit on the right there and you got one on the bottom left okay there's three of them and these guys have a timer on them where they reset when they're not sitting down having a minute uh, rest for six minutes um, you can talk to them and change. Another thing as well, when you kill eight people, you do get a buff of more damage. So it says, um, Fast Star Master, you have defeated eight or more people in a row and gained a 5% damage bonus. Only active in Fast Star for one hour. During this hour, you cannot receive exclusive defeat streaks, airdrops, and rewards again. So what that means is, if I kill another eight people, I'm not going to get, um, another airdrop i have to wait a complete hour before i can you know re-roll another airdrop random which could be another rocket launcher vice versa so it's probably best just to show you these guys and vice versa so i've you know i've shown you pretty much everything you need to see 
And um, yeah, I hope this video helps you out to understand Redwood a lot better. Um, I, I hope I haven't missed anything. If I have, I apologize. But um, yeah, I think that is it, guys. So yeah, this is King of China. Always trying it. Hope uh, you have a PVP five star day. Remember, durability is 75%, not zero. So it does still mean that you still lose durability. Just a lot less. Um, death as well is a lot lower also. And um, yeah, just come in buffed if you really want to kick ass and own the place. And the longer you stay in here and kill people, the better chance you do have of becoming first. It's just that simple. All right. Let's see. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'll, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.